<laughs> Diane thinks the wind is scary. <laughs> Not like her predecessor, Molly, who used to stand out and defy the wind and just bark at it. But Diane's like, this is scary. It moves my trees. So quick, quick October brief tour. We are not exactly where I had hoped we would be, but look, there are no building supplies on the ground here, so that's good. I just swept these leaves up for the video, and then the wind blew in and blew down some leaves. So that's what fall's about, isn't it? We have a lovely little awning over our door here, and that's, well, we've got the trim done around the door and painted. That's about it. We are hoping November will be the month. We'll see. I, uh, the dogs appropriate things as toys that are not toys like this rug. I was trying to dry because it got soaked. We had so much rain. It's just been weird weather. Tomato jungle went crazy finally. Too late. Very few tomatoes are going to survive that. But we got a couple off of there. Next year, we will do better. I have been working on the raised beds. I had meant to when I first built this to reinforce the the sides of them and I never got to it so I'm just now getting there and that just needs to be stained and I need to finish this side over here. So that's what's going on there. Dogs uh, have dug more holes. We had to take the little bird bath out because winter's coming and that will freeze and crack and then over here we changed out the fountains so if you remember I had the little fountains that had the little rocks on them and a little bit of lights and then I had the tall fountain back there well they'll freeze so we had to take them out and these I had originally here and I love this one because just listen to it And the birds love it too. I did not have them set up earlier this year because I was afraid that these little guys, when they were real little, might fall in because they were real little. And I didn't want them to get, you know, head down, stuck in there and drown. So we didn't do this one this year, but they're now nice and big. Huh, Jack? You won't fall in. <laughs> so it's safe. Also, I have a heater for these fountains. So I put this one up and we're hoping it will make it through the winter with a little heater in it. And then I have one out front now. I took down the uh, little fountain there that will freeze and put away in storage and safe. And then over here you can see everything's just turning fall like and that's what's going to happen. The rain barrels will have to get emptied and stored but I haven't got to that yet. Hopefully in the next few weeks and then I'm um, I have a plan for this all this area here I'm hoping to prep it for next year I hope to prep it in early November after we get all these leaves knocked down and um, can be used for for healthy new ground and these guys are getting better they you know, would dig up plants and things. They're getting better now. So I'm hoping that by early spring I can put some more things in the ground here that they won't try to pull up. We'll see, but they have progressed. They are getting better behaved, aren't we, Diane? I don't know if Jack is. <laughs> Jack's like, yeah, sh sure, sure. Yeah, I am. I'm getting better behaved. Alright guys, this is the back gardens at Desert Rose and Sage, October 2022 tour. We're getting really close to winter. Be gentle with yourselves, there's only one you.